What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. Okay, so I had several requests for this. If it seems a little basic uh, for those who have been around the game for a while, then I apologize. This uh, is probably a video that you can skip. But I wanted to give just a quick tutorial on how to use the uh, the liquidity pools within tribal decks. And so if if people want tutorials on maybe sushi swap or pancake swap i personally don't use sushi swap but i use pancake swap or i've recently learned and started using pancake swap um i can i can do that just let me know in the comments below but at least for those who are already on the hive blockchain and if you're playing the game then you are technically set up with a hive blockchain account because your your username is also your hive uh hive wallet and hive username so i'm just going to show you how you would go about doing this once you are in uh, fr from the game all the way to tribal decks. So I'm going to go ahead and take DEC, for example, and I'm going to send 100 DEC to Hive Engine. And I just type in 100 here and I transfer out. And then where you're going to go after this is over to tribal. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. You are going to go over to tribal decks. Uh, and so this is going to be tribaldex.com. And when you get to tribaldex.com, it's going to look like this. You log in at the top. And what you do is you click on pools, I believe. Yep, there you go. So now you're going to have your swap, your positions, transactions, pools, add liquidity, remove liquidity, um, and then some others at the end. But let me just focus on where I think you'll be spending most of your time. It's going to be swap, pools, add liquidity, and then when you want to remove liquidity, uh, there as well. And I'm sorry, you, should, you can also use your positions to see where you are at in the liquidity pools. So with the swap function, you are going to be able to swap one token for another. Very easy, right? And when you click down here, you can see all the different tokens that you have. I can see that I have 100 DEC and uh, let's see here, 100 DEC and do, 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 do. what do I want to swap this to? Oh, we're going to do SPS. So let me type in SPS. Now, what, what you need to do when you are putting uh, liquidity into a liquidity pool is you need to have even amounts of each token uh, because what you're essentially going to do is put in a pair, right? And so for me, it's, this is going to be DEC SPS. Uh, but again, we can, you, this will work for any of the pairs. You just need to uh, adjust it, you know, adjust the, the tokens as such. And you need to put in equal amounts of them or when you remove, you're going to remove equal amounts of them. So I have 100 DEC here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send uh, or swap 50 of that DEC into SPS. I am paying a small fee here, so I should have, I think, a slightly less SPS than I do DEC, which is gonna come into play in a moment. So I hit the swap function. I go ahead and approve the transaction. It's gonna give me like a, a green sign or something at the top. And we'll be able to see that I have, I now have 50 DEC and I have 0.55 of an SPS. So I go over to add liquidity. And this is where you can choose your pool. So let me type in SPS and you can see all of the different pools that are available for SPS. There's a ton of them, but I am focused on the DEC SPS one. Now, here's the thing. There's two buttons where you can click max. So this first is your base token. That's going to be DEC. And then the quote token is SPS. Now, depending on which one you have more of, if you were to max that out, you will not be able to add liquidity because it will say that you don't have enough of the other tokens. So for example, if I hit max on DEC, the add liquidity button is grayed out. And you know some folks who had come on stream previously were wondering like, why is that the case? Well, it's because I require, if you put in 50 DEC, I require 0.56 uh, SPS. And you can see on my balance, I only have 0.55. So if this doesn't work, click on max for the other one and you'll immediately see this light up and you'll see that the amount of SPS that I have is equal to 49.875 DEC. So I can go ahead, I can add liquidity and honestly, it is as easy as that. So let me go over just a couple of these other tabs so that you can pay attention or so that you can kind of uh, know your way around. So after you've done that, you can go over to your positions, right? This Your positions tab, and it'll show you how much liquidity you have in the system. This is all the liquidity positions that you have. So these are all the pools that I have capital in right now. How much of each token? So for example, in the, uh, where is it? DEC SPS, I mean, I just added 100 DEC, but that's kind of nothing compared to what I have in there right now, right? So it's not it's not a major change, but what this will show you is how much of each token you have, how many shares within that, right? So this is gonna be important. So for example, in the DEC SPS uh, liquidity pool, I have 0.013%. So when they talk about, uh, I think it's, I think it's like uh, 750,000 SPS per month going out for liquidity pool rewards. When they when they said that that's the amount, I can take that 750K per month 
and multiply it by my share, right, 0.013, and then I will know how much that I am getting, how much of that 750K I would be getting per month, right? And then you can divide up by roughly 30 or 31 days, whatever month we're in, and you'll get the uh, you'll get the amount that we were getting per day and can kind of figure out what the APR is from there. Um, so if you do end up getting rewards and we should be getting rewards, I don't know if it's going to show up here right away or if they're just going to do it in game because it sounds like they need to set up some things. Um, if you do get rewards, that is going to display here. So for example, right now, uh, I am getting 0 0.039. So essentially just under a penny of rewards for holding this in B token, right? So there's some rewards and we're going to get into that in a second. And this is paid out every 24 hours. So I'm getting, ooh kind of nice. I'm getting a penny in B token every every 24 hours. Now, you can also come down here and you can see the dollar value of all the liquidity that you have and you will show also the amount of fees that you have earned and this is on a lifetime basis, right? So it's not, you know, per day or whatever. This just shows how much I've earned over time. So since how, however long ago I put DEC SPS in, I've earned a dollar twenty seven roughly. So it's it's not much, but my my share as you can see is like kind of tiny. And all these other liquidity pools I'm just kind of playing in where I threw some in for PKM, threw some in for swap that hive and BTC. I was just trying to see how all of those worked. Um, now if you go here to pools this is the last tab and then we'll close out the video. You can see all of the pools available right? And you can filter by whichever ones you want to see. So let's say we wanted to look at the SPS ones. Oops, not S posts, but SPS. Uh, and you can see here that there's a swap.hive, DEC, SPS, uh, a bunch a bunch of different kinds, right? I think the one that is going to get, uh, actually, let's, let's see if we can find it. So the one that's going to get it is the SPS hive pool, right? Um, oh, actually, sorry, SPS hive and SPS DEC. So both of them are going to get Get some of that. So this SPS Hive is going to get 1.5 million SPS per month. Uh, the DEC SPS is going to get 750K. Now, uh, don't go to max. Just go to one day because then you'll see the most recent information. You can see that total liquidity on these is like 1.2 million, 1.3 million. So there's a lot of capital that's already in there. But what's nice is that you can see how much were earned in fees uh, in the last day and then kind of calculate a rough like APR on getting fees um, and the way that you would do that like if I just was going to say like uh, for swap that hive in SPS 103.76 over the 1268028 so 1.2 million uh, so that is your daily percentage rate multiply that by 365 and you're getting like a 2.9 percent rate but again that's just a snapshot of one day uh, how much if you if you go out to like seven days or 30 days That'll give you a, a bit of a broader sense of how much uh, is being earned. But again, these are all just kind of estimates. And I, I don't spend much time doing that because the, the fees tend to be relatively low. The last thing, though, that I'll show you is some of these have this nice little yellow button here or a nice little yellow <laughs> text here that says it has LP rewards. So every pool is going to give you fees, right? That's And if you put, if you put your capital in, you're going to get some fees. But only some of them have LP rewards. And that's usually given by a project or whatever, like a collaboration or partnership. So you can see here that SPS Hive uh, has these as all LP rewards. So you can see that they are giving out, you know, uh, forty six dollars in 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 B token or about almost two hundred B, um, and then there's a bunch of other smaller ones here. And if you if you notice for me, I have DEC SPS, so here they're giving like sixty nine dollars uh, out in in uh, B rewards. And that was the only one that I was getting because this is the highest one, right? So if I'm not even with the low amount that I have in there, I'm not even eligible to receive any of these other uh, rewards. But hopefully once uh, the L SPS rewards go live, we should see this kick in with quite a bit of SPS that's dropping per day. In fact, um, let's see here. How much do we have? It's uh, 750,000 divided by uh, 30 days, right? So that's oh wow, that's gonna be twenty five thousand SPS tokens, which at the current price, 0 0.055, we'll say, is thirteen seventy five. So this, you know, the LP rewards are gonna go up significantly high. Now again, I don't know what the mechanism is going to be for this just yet. So keep an eye out for that. Not maybe I'll do an update if people request it. Uh, so I don't know if it's gonna be paid out directly here because if it's paid out here, it just shows up in your Hive Engine wallet. And if you're not familiar with Hive Engine, make sure you go check that out too. Uh, if not, you you may get it airdropped in the game because that's how they were doing the airdrop uh, mechanism, or sorry, the previous liquidity pool mechanism for the airdrop.
drop, I believe. So I just remember reading some confusing text about that earlier. I am sure they're going to give us an update probably next Monday, uh, which is the the town hall, the day before the end of the airdrop and uh, the day before when all of this goes live. So I'm sure we'll get a lot of our questions answered at that point in time. Uh, but either way, that's all I really have for you. Again, the, the website for Hive Engine uh, is just hiveengine.com. So you can go in and log in as well. Now, keep in mind, Hive Engine and Tribal Dex are combined, right? They have they both have the same back end. It's just Hive Engine is, allows you to do things like, um, uh, what is that called? Limit orders. So you can go in here. It's it's very complicated. If you guys want a Hive Engine tutorial, I can do that too. But um, Hive Engine does more uh, limit orders rather than just easy swaps. And I also use Hive Engine to withdraw whenever I want to withdraw from the game. So, uh, or with, not withdraw from the game, but just withdraw from the, uh, the ecosystem. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. If there's any other questions that you have, feel free to comment them below and I will see if I can do a video or explain. I'll see if I can explain first in there. And if, uh, if there's enough requests to do a video on something else, just let me know. All right, guys, have an amazing rest of your day. Best of luck with the upcoming LP rewards. I hope you get rich. All right. Have <laughs> all right. Take care all.